Well, a cold and windy day across the region. Storm Track 3 meteorologist Katie Melvin joins us now. And Katie, for the most part, all day I've been pretty bundled up. If I could be right now, I would. <laughs> yeah, I think I came into work in three layers. Mm -hmm. I had this and then my sweatshirt and then a really big jacket because it's just been really chilly. I'm just still not quite used to it. I think it might be a long winter for me personally, but at least for the short term, we do have some relief on the way. It's not going to be tonight, though. Live look in Benton right now. Uh, if you look closely, there's a couple snowflakes on this camera, but it's just the lights. We're not actually tracking any precipitation tonight. Just some really cold temperatures. 25 degrees right now in Benton. That wind chill a couple degrees cooler. The good news is those winds have finally started to die down a bit. But it does feel very cold outside, even without that wind chills down into the teens for some of us for our southern city still down into the 20s. So it feels very cold outside, even if those temperatures are a couple degrees warmer. We have 33 right now for Cape Girardeau, Paducah at that freezing line of 32 Sykes in 30 20s in Mount Vernon and Marion. It's going to be another chilly night for us. The 20s are the least of our problems. We're going to continue to dip down into the teens thanks to some radiational cooling. So it was sunny today. We heated the ground some, but because we're seeing clear skies tonight, all of that heat is really just going to escape and it's going to let us get pretty cold overnight tonight. So we're tracking some record lows for some of us tomorrow. Still on that chilly side, at least it'll be sunny. But then Monday, finally, that pattern shift starts to break and we see some of that warmer air get to make its way in. But earlier today we saw that cold front come through. That's why we had some of those gusty conditions. Some cool air filling in behind it. Temperatures down in the 20s by 1 o'clock teens for the wind chills and in those early morning hours. If you have any early morning plans, get outside, maybe pretty early out hunting. Just bundle up. We're down into the teens for our lows. Wind chills as well by 8 o'clock starting to warm up a bit, but really not seeing much by lunchtime. Some of us still not even above freezing Harrisburg at 30 degrees. We have that high pressure just down to our south, pretty much controlling our winds for tomorrow, but we have another pretty chilly day on deck for us especially in the morning. Some of us again closing on some of those lows, especially Paducah, Cape Girardeau, expecting 15 and 13 degrees. Previous record set in 2014 and 1968 about 20 degrees. So it's going to be a pretty chilly morning for a lot of us not seeing any relief into the afternoon highs only in the upper 30s. Even with those sunny skies and those yellow temperatures, that is the wind chill. So even if those temperatures are a bit on the warmer side, it's still going to feel pretty cold outside. That's thanks to that trough. It's really been dominating these past couple of days, allowing that cooler air to push in. Luckily, it's moving off to the northeast, allowing some more mild air to kind of take over and fill in. Great to have the Storm Track 3F, of course, Thanksgiving just around the corner, actually tracking a chance of rain still possibly on that day. Leading up to it, lots of sunshine, expected temperatures in those upper 30s on Sunday to end the weekend. Then the start of the work week, finally some warmer temperatures this time of the year. Normally we hit those 50s, mid 50s, so we're definitely been unseasonably cool for at least the last mm -hmm. week and a half or so. Again, tracking a couple of showers for the holiday, keeping an eye on that, but I'm just excited for it not to be 12 degrees anymore at nighttime. Uh, you and I <laughs> both, so definitely looking forward to that warm up. Yep. Thanks, Katie.